السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو فائزہ مشتاق اسٹارٹلر ڈائری وائی ڈو چلڈرن بیکم پیپل پلیزر ان ہو میڈ دیم پیپل پلیزر سم ٹائم ان انٹینشنلی وی دا پیرنٹس نن آف اس اسٹارٹ آر پیرنٹنگ جرنی ود دی آبجیکٹو ٹو ریز اے پیپل پلیزنگ چائلڈ بٹ آفن our good intentioned desire to raise kind and grateful humans can lead to raising kids who often ignore their own needs or do unhealthy things to make others like them including us as parents now most of us worry about what other think and have people pleasing tendencies myself included It's human and normal to wonder how you are perceived or desire to make other happy. And while it's good to recognize where you can grow and change to be a kind and giving person, there is a point where it can become unhealthy and it translates to being a people pleaser. Why kids become people pleaser because they are told to stop crying and complaining even when they feel uncomfortable so that everyone around them feels comfortable usually the first instance one learns people pleasing is in the home during childhood and one could call it mummy pleasing or daddy pleasing and sometime it's guest pleasing examples of when we teach our kids people pleasing by accidents it's what it's with popular parenting advice advice parents can misunderstand the fine line between discipline and expectation or pleasing because they are compelled to dress in a certain way the child in order to please everyone else even if they don't feel comfortable in what they are wearing sometimes parents say that please pink uh, wear pink color it it looks more beautiful to your aunt so you don't see that your child is comfortable or not in that pink dress you just see that your aunt or your uncle mm, will be happy to see you in this color because it's their favorite color another example where we unintentionally teach our children that pleasing others is most important is when we make their mistake about our feelings or someone else you can avoid this in everyday discipline instances for example don't say go apologize to your sister because you made her sad look how sad she is quit if your child is not comfortable around the guest or whatever you are saying or teaching that do to please the guest because they are forced to smile and look happy and get instagram worthy pictures to show others even when they don't wish to get clicked so don't for- force your child you just have to pay attention to your child if your child does something good or seeks your approval then give them praise people pleaser often seek others approval because they never felt good enough to their parents but don't go overboard and praise every little thing they do so your words become meaningless as always parenting is about balance and it's much easier said than done don't force your child to hug your aunt or uncle or just entertain them because a guest should not feel bad kids are forced to do something for them when kids are itself uncomfortable feeling people pleaser spend so much time and effort in taking care of others unfortunately they often do not establish good social support for themselves people pleasers or those with sociotropic tendencies wish to make other people happy often at the sake of their own needs and or values while being warm kind and helpful are positive traits they can result in strong feelings 
of resentment anxiety stress and emotional depletion when they come at your expense sometimes people ask is people pleasing a syndrome and if it is a syndrome what to do the parents to save their child if you do not wish your children to be people pleaser then stop expecting them to mold themselves according to people around them sometimes people engage in people pleasing behavior because they don't value their own desires and needs due to lack of self confidence people pleasers have a need for external validation and they may feel that doing things for others will lead to approval and acceptance and how do you help a child with people pleasing praise and affirm your team first it is the parents duty actually and differentiate between goodwill and pleasing do not hesitate to speak up for your kids and fearlessly say this that my kid is not feeling comfortable so it is okay not to hug them not to kiss them or do not click them because they are feeling hesitate or they are not comfortable this time with you It's okay if they are crying. They are kids after all. So stand up for your kid and take action for your child. Please don't force them to give a hug if they are not comfortable. You can politely say to your guest, "It's okay if they do not wish to get clicked or wear fancy clothes. They are not comfortable and Don't threaten them. encourage independence and individuality raising independent thinkers versus robot and affirm and praise your child for their effort and pay attention to your child a lack of parental attunement is a big part of what cause people pleasing many times parents of people pleasers are too worried about their own troubles to tune in to what their children are feeling and thinking let your kids accept the fact that not everyone will like them and it's completely okay here it is probably because parents have not taught them to respect others so children sometimes become so naughty we should take balance that we should not make our child a people pleaser or we should not make our child that guests will be irritated by them impulsive reaction a child may feel angry or hurt and lash out and at times it can be unintentional as a child may not even realize that he is going he's going mean but it's okay 